This video will show how to adjust camera settings, specifically camera retention and resolution. To access these settings, you can click the pull down menu on each preview video and click camera settings. These two settings that I'll be discussing, the retention and resolution, are the two camera settings that will immediately affect the billing on the account. The first one, cloud retention, also known as the number of days of cloud recording, can be set differently for each camera on the account. The default for this setting is 14 days, and this red X here indicates that we're outside of the default cloud retention. You can choose a cloud retention anywhere from seven days up until five years. And if we downgrade the subscription for 30 days to 14 days, you'll receive a notification saying that any video beyond this 30 days of retention will be deleted. Similarly, if you upgrade from 30 days to 16 days, you'll get a notice that increasing this retention period may incur additional charges on the account. Moving on to the resolution settings. This is where we can set the resolution for the preview video and the full video recording. This pull down menu will allow me to choose the resolution for the preview video. I can also choose when I'd like to transmit this video and the maximum bandwidth that I'd like to use. Regarding the full video recording, here I can choose what type of resolution I'd like to use. And these menu options will change depending on the camera that you have connected. But again, upgrading or downgrading the resolution on this camera will immediately affect the billing. You can also choose different resolutions for each camera that's connected. Again, I can choose a background or on-demand transmit mode. And I can choose whether I'd like to record this full video re resolution always, so 24 by 7, or in an event such as motion or an analytic. 